Uh, my name is Gabrielle Richards and I'm with the FFA and I raise um, market goats with my breeder goat Bubbles. Um, I've owned my um, oldest goat, the, the mother of these goats, since last year of July or more, or two years ago. But I brought her originally as a market goat, I was going to show her and at a show and market it, auction her off for me. But I got, I was, I bonded to her because she was like such a fantastic goat so I just decided to turn her into a breeding project so I could breed goats for students so they could raise them for market projects. When I first got her, she didn't really like me. It was like a new thing. I had to carry her to the trailer, which was pretty heavy. She wasn't as big as him. She was more older, so she was heavier, and I kind of struggled carrying her. Like, when we got to the farm and I started feeding her more, and it was more one-on-one -on -one time, I figured out, like, she was more like a dog. If I walked too far away from her, she'd scream and, like, run to the farm as fast as she could to find me. And so we started playing hide and seek, we started going on walks and whatnot, and she just became like part of me of the school. I'd come out during lunch, eat lunch with her, she'd cuddle and just was one of my friends, so I decided to keep her instead of marketing her off. Other than raising goats, I actually compete with the ADBA with my um, Bulldogs, the American Bulldog mixes. We do treadmill races, we do um, lure, lure course, weight pull, um, Wall climb, where actually wall climb is my favorite one because the dogs scale up a vertical wall for fun. Um, our highest with one of our dogs, Zenobia, was 13, 14 feet up a wall during a competition and she was actually one of the best around during that year. Like over the summer, usually kids like getting the, the habit of sleeping in and whatnot, but I had two pigs, these three goats, and a steer, so I never really got to sleep in. I learned about animals is that um, they really depend on you, like there's the responsibility and everyday thing, like you can't just decide that you're going to sleep in one day because these animals do need checked on, they do need fed, and they just need, they love the interaction, like it's, I don't understand how some people can get an animal and then think it's an, op it's an option to take care of them, it is not an option, you show up every day, um, and like once you start showing up every day, it doesn't seem like a, like a job, it's fun, like it, it's just better to see how happy these animals get when they see you. They know they're being fed, they know they're going to get interaction, and it's just a great thing. My advice would be honestly probably get at least one animal or something because it gives you a little like self pride of being able to do something. Like if I didn't have these animals, I think I'd be a lot more depressed. But like even taking care of a hamster, you know that hamster is fed and it's happy and it's like well cared for it and that gives you a little bit of self pride. What the state fair does for our school is during the summer or when we don't have the enough um, pens for animals, they let us pen our animals there and it's a lot easier honestly up there. I'm an animal lover and I hope you guys learn to be one too.